What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again back with the bang of the day, guys, on another video, man. And uh, whew, the sports world, the world in general, woke up today with some uh, crazy, crazy, crazy uh, footage that was recently released by TMZ on um, Draymond Green and Jordan Poole. Now, I want we're gonna go ahead and show it, react to it, and then you know give our thoughts and opinions on this in in general. Cause I ain't gonna lie, man, it's it's a it's a lot to say on this in general. But as you can see, Draymond Green right here, and I might get this video, I might get clipped by TMZ because they don't be playing. TMZ be grabbing all the footage in the world, boy. And I ain't gonna lie, I thought it was. I thought this was Jordan Poole, but then I realized this was him. And you know, Jordan Poole, I think is like, what, was his second year or rookie or something. Let me see how. He comes up, he, he says something in the face and pushes him and dow just dropped him. Straight dropped him and they still trying to stop it. I wonder, hold on, did he get back up? Let me see. Cause he dropped him. Like it looked like he dropped him like a, and then he grabbed him. Kind of like, like it seemed like he grabbed him like, hold on. He, as soon as he punched him, Dropped him and then he, then he grabbed him and then pushed him up against the wall like he was trying to go do more But he was already down, right? So it's like was he punching him again, but then I think right here If you can see and I'm blocking it of course, so let me move myself a little bit Let me move myself. Forgive me y'all. I'm over here talking and I'm all in the way But you can see let me yeah, let me let me do this again. It seems like as if He got back up I thought he just completely sl like slump him, you know? Let me see. Walks up, says something to him, gets up on him, kind of pushes him. Foul! He dropped him, grabbed him, and then watch. You're going to see somebody. Let me see this person. It's a person that pops up right here. That is him. He did get back up. That's him right there. Yeah, so he did get back up. So he did get back up. He dropped him, though. That man dropped the shit out of him, man. Now, you know, in a typical fight situation, you know, when you see something like this, the bump go on. Draymond did that, and then Buddy pushed him. Typically, we say, well, he put his hands on. Nah, Draymond put his hands, put his body on Jordan Poole first. People are saying that, you know, Jordan Poole uh, started it or put his hands on Draymond first. And, well, nah, technically, um, Draymond did. Now... I hate to hold people accountable, not even accountable, but put certain responsibilities on it. But at the end of the day, in my opinion, this is my opinion, right? Draymond Green is a veteran on his team. He is one of the founding fathers of the Warriors team right now. Uh, him, Steph, and Clay. you know. Um, is Andre even on there now? I don't know if Andre's on. He be Andre be on and then off, then on and then off. I can't even, I don't even know right now. Um, yeah, Jordan Poole is a rookie, you know, so they, not only, never mind, he is not a rookie. He's his third year. I wanted to confirm that. Thank you me doing my quick research his third year with them but he's a he's a he's the vet is green in that this push shouldn't have led to that punch but at the same time like if draymond would have pushed pull back would would you know pull have punched him so it's kind of like i don't want to say like you know draymond was supposed to just sit there and let him pop it off on him first but um at the same time man like when you guys are teammates y'all this is like your 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 your, your body like y'all y'all supposed to protect people through every war y'all go through on that court and when it's something like that so extraordinary in my opinion fighting someone like like that at least is like out of the picture you know i have older brothers and we used to fight too I, and maybe you know yeah brothers punch each other and all that as well but i ain't gonna lie with my brothers and all that we used to like more so try to like wrestle or choke choke out not like kill but like choke out slam and all that like hold hold chokes and stuff you know and it would have never like straight up punching in the goddamn face even then punching in the body but at the same time some people grew up punching fighting their cousin with their fist i mean I, not to say i never did that but i just feel like I just feel like the punch it, it threw me off like that was the that 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 push would have led to that you know that push would have led to another push back and then i would have expected some type of like you know wrestling or something of that matter before that straight just cracked to the goddamn face now i'm more so not even i don't even like this information drop yeah whatever this drop the story i'm more so 
curious to when this actually happened and i'm gonna look and see if i can find that first when this happened and second though whoever leaked is about to get fired they're gonna find out who, who leaked it because i'm pretty sure if this was not leaked it would have just went under the rug swept under the rug and left at that now that this is out who knows somebody was saying on twitter like he's about to get fired i don't know like I'm, this is not gonna be a good look for him san francisco uh okay uh, draymond green apologized to the uh, golden state warriors on thursday morning for an altercation with jordan pulled the day before so this happened on wednesday so this happened two days ago you see it was just swept under the rug and he didn't apologize until now green uh, subsequently left the training facility and is not expected back until saturday the warriors are still in process of disciplining green but myers said he does not expect him to miss any games due to the punishment well there you go these things happen nobody likes it we don't condone it but it happens exactly remember when michael jordan said he and steve kerr i think what the michael jordan punched steve kerr in the, in the face and shit like this shit happens it's been happening the thing now is, is that social media is behind it and with social media it brings more and more uh people you know uh giving their uh their uh opinion like me you know but also expecting some sort of discipline or pushing or pressuring organizations to do something to look good to the public because this has been going on for multiple times for years multiple players fighting and all that I mean, not to even knock my man because he's been on YouTube recently, like, Gil well, Gilbert Arenas, like, that whole situation with Gilbert Arenas, uh, Arenas in the locker room, like, it happened, right? But if it was, like, happening with a camera, it would have been a whole different, it just would, it, it, that camera heightens shit, you know, it just makes shit worse. Uh, Draymond apologized to the team, Jordan was there in the locker room as far as any suspension, punishment, fine will be handled internally, so they don't even want to make it, yeah get it out there green threw a punch at pull at practice wednesday sources told espn adrian uh Wolge is in an altercation that had begun when the two started trash talking to each other verbally sparring during uh verbally sparring during practice draymond got a chill though with the i mean i mean i get the bumping i don't know i am very on eggshells with how i think about this and i want to hear you guys thoughts and opinions down below Green has been considered the Warriors' heartbeat and emotional leader on media day. Clay Thompson said being yelled at by Green at one point or another is a bylaw now. And usually the Warriors be welcome his fire. He will tell you he has been over that line, but he always comes back, Mar said. Nobody is saying they don't want him around, but Wednesday was not a good moment. I don't think he likes putting himself in these spots. He is in one, but I think he'll find a way to earn the respect of his teammates and Jordan back. Mar said upcoming contract negotiations for both Green and Poole didn't play a role in the altercation, and he hasn't observed any change in behavior from either player leading up to the incident. Both Warriors and Steve Kerr and point guard Steph Curry echoed this sentiment. There was a report that Jordan had an attitude in camp and that it could not be further from the truth. He's been fantastic. Poole has been great, and there's nothing that was warranted for the situation yesterday. I want that to make that clear. Despite the incident, Myers called this year's training camp and preseason the best vibe he has witnessed in his tenure with the Warriors. He believes that the Wednesday incident will work itself out in time. Yeah, man, he's been just won a championship at the end of the day. I don't know, man. I mean, I, I'm now, though, coming in to it. I'm like, damn, you know, Draymond is not a little look, but now thinking about it and even hearing it from Steve Kerr, who plays for the Warriors, and seeing it like, bro, this does happen a lot more than we suspect. We only just see. But I'm pretty sure if we really look into it or even hear more and more, there's been tons of altercations in the locker rooms and all that. The only issue now is that this shit was done on social media. If anybody's going to get a punishment, it's the motherfucker recording right now. This person that's recording right now, you about to, get, you about to lose your goddamn job. You feel me? That's what's about to happen, in my opinion. So to each his own on that but uh let me know man you th you know you guys thoughts and opinions down below on this you know walked up bumped him draymond pushed popped it off buddy just pushed him i think that's like that is typical bump push the punch and the lean in that nigga did a ufc punch that's where it was like wow that's a lot I wouldn't expect, I wouldn't expect, that. I, I would have been, bro, if I was Jordan Poole, I would have been, I, anybody, if my, when my teammates bumped into me and I, like, man, back up off me, bro, get up off me, and then I wouldn't expect my teammate to then straight up punch me, that shit right there was, it was definitely uncalled for, um, I don't think that there should be any punishment, I think these guys need to work it out and leave it at that, but with it not being on front center, we'll just have to wait and see, 
you know let me know what you guys thoughts and opinions is down below though love y'all i'm out